Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel VDI Bus. This is Mohammad Kubaib. In this video, we are going to discuss about Azure Virtual Desktop new features. Microsoft has released few features for AVD, which is currently in public preview, and also some features are in general availability. So, in this uh, session, we are going to discuss and do the demo lab for some of the features such as RDP short path on public networks and scheduled updates for the Azure session host and some of the other features like new web client URLs and general availability of Intune for multi-session VM. If you find this video useful, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the notification whenever I post any new videos related to public cloud and VDA technologies. And also please like and share the video with your colleagues and community as well. Below are the features which Microsoft has released recently. So let's discuss one by one. Some of the features are in preview. So it is not recommended to try in production environment, but you can test in validation environment. So the first one is scheduled agent updates. Scheduled agent updates is a new feature in public preview that lets IT admin specify the time and day the Azure Virtual Desktop agent, side-by-side -side agent, stack, and Geneva monitoring agent will update. Here, whenever you deploy any Azure Virtual Desktop, for example, you are deploying an Azure Virtual Desktop AVD session host. So by default, it will install three agents. So which is Remote Desktop Service Infrastructure Agent, and then we have Geneva Agent, and then side-by-side -side network stack. So this is pushing from the Microsoft side. So you as a customer doesn't have any control over the updates. So whenever if there is any updates for these agents, Microsoft will push immediately in a random manner. So if there is an issue while updating the agents and session host is not responding properly, then you might have a downtime. So it is not recommended to push any updates during the production hours. So to avoid this, Microsoft come up with scheduled agent updates where you can mention the time zone for your maintenance activity. So basically you can mention two maintenance window. If one uh, window is missed, then AVD uh, will get updated in the another maintenance window. So for example, if your VM is shut down during the first window, so it won't push any updates. So in that case, the second window will come into the picture. So now customer can configure their session host updates as per the customer maintenance window. So basically the maintenance window should be minimum of, of two hours. So if your downtime or maintenance window starts from 11 a.m., then it means it will update the agents between 11, 12, and 1 o'clock. So till 1 o'clock, you will have the maintenance window. So similarly, the additional maintenance window which I have mentioned, if it is 7 p.m., it means it will take 8, 9. So before 9, it will do the update of the agents. So now let's see the demo on how to configure scheduled agent updates. So I am here in the Azure Virtual Desktop Blade. So we need to go to the session host pool. Under host pool, we need to select our host pool. So I am going to select my host pool here. Here in the left side, we need to select scheduled agent updates. We need to enable the scheduled agent updates so here we can either choose user use local session host time zone so it will take the local session host time zone or else you can choose your own time zone so since i am located in uae so i am going to use my uae time zone so i am going to select abu dhabi and muscat so this is the time zone for my region 
and day I am going to select Saturday this is the maintenance window first maintenance window the time I am going to choose 11 p.m. my maintenance window will be from 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. so at least it requires two hours window for the upgrade similarly I can choose another maintenance window because if the VMs are off by this time so it won't do any upgrade so we have to provide any another additional maintenance window so I'm going to give Sunday the same time so which is 11 p.m. so 11 p.m. it will start the upgrade so it will run for another two hours that is till 1 a.m. it will run the upgrade so then we need to click on apply so so after doing this by this maintenance window it will do the upgrade otherwise Microsoft will push the updates at any time so it may cause downtime due to some XYZ reason so it is not recommended in a production environment to push the updates randomly since this feature is in preview so you can test it on the validation or uh, pool or test pool so do not try this on the production one unless Microsoft confirms the GA for this let's discuss about RDP short path per public network so with this feature RDP short path can provide a direct UDP based network transport for user session over the public network so let's go to our whiteboard to see this in detail UDP is a very light protocol as compared to TCP so by default when we connect our Azure virtual desktop from the client machine the traffic will go from the client machine to the public internet from the public internet it will go to the remote desktop gateway which is hosted in Azure so remote desktop gateway it will check with the broker for the available session host so it will check the pool of session host which is available so once it determines the available session host that information will be again passed to the ga uh, remote desktop gateway so remote desktop gateway will create a reverse connect through the public internet to the client so that I can able to connect to my uh, Azure virtual desktop so this is a purely a TCP based connection and which is called as reverse connect so since TCP is a heavy protocol so it will induce latency ultimately it will affect the end user experience so the RDP short path which is a feature so it will connect to your session host from the client directly over UDP protocol so what does it mean so whenever we enable RDP short path the client will connect to the public internet and public internet will go to the RD gateway so RD gateway will check with the remote broker for the available session host so once RD broker will get the available session host then this session host will get connected to the client directly over the UDP protocol so since UDP is a very light protocol and it will reduce uh, latency and also using this method you can uh, avoid the extra hopes to reach the client so because of this you will have a less round trip so the end user experience will be very good as compared to TCP so to enable RDP short path for public network we need to create a registry entry under HKLM system control, control set control terminal and win station so basically we are going to use this command through the command prompt so it will create a registry entry in the mentioned path so let's open a command prompt from the elevated administrator so let's run this command and let's go here and we'll refresh the page as you can see we have our entry so this entry will enable the RDP short path so now let's go back to our client machine and we'll try to connect to the virtual machine and we'll see the protocol and the round trip so you can use GPO 
or you can use in tune policy also to push this registry entry and also you can use the same command on the master image and then you can create a session host that is also possible so let's go back to our client machine so I'm going to launch the remote desktop client before we enable RDP shortcut so first let's launch the VDA with the default TCP RDP reverse connect and we will see what is the ground truth and the protocol it is showing so I'm going to launch the VDA I'm going to enter the credential so the VDA is connected now I'm going to see the connection details so here I'm going to the connection information as you can see it is TCP and the round trip is 2 milliseconds and the available bandwidth is 8.3 Mbps now I have enabled RDP short path and I am going to launch the VDA now I am going to enter the credential to launch the VDA so now my VDA is launched and uh, I am going to the connection information to check the status of the protocol and the round trip So as you can see it is saying that UDP is enabled so let's go to the C details and here you can see the round trip is less than 1 milliseconds which is extremely good so the connection and the latency is very minimal and the user experience will be excellent so the transportation protocol you can see which is a UDP protocol so this is how you enable RDP short path for public network and it will add a high value to the end user experience you can verify the status of RTP short path by going to the client and in the connection information you can see UDP is enabled so similarly if you go to the Azure portal and the monitoring under monitoring go to connection diagnostics and then go to the user details over here so if you click on the users select the user here in the right side you will see all the events related to the connectivity so if you go below so you can see one event called RDP short path established so it means your user connection is now under UDP and which is established over the public network directly through RDP short path also you can check the status of RDP short path from the log analytics so we need to go to log analytics and then go to logs so under logs run the query WD check checkpoints where name contains short path so if you run the query it will give you the result of your RDP short path connect connection so if you check the result so where you can see RDP short path established so if you expand this so you will get you the it will give you the details so here you can see RDP short path established and the UDP type is short path public so it means it is now connected over UDP through short path on the public network so if it is a private then uh, uh, for example if it is over your VPN or express route then the it will show you as short path private so this is how we can monitor the IDP short path over public network from the Azure portal as well as from the client side on the remote desktop application the third one is Azure Virtual Desktop Web Client has a new URL. So now Microsoft has changed the URL for uh, to access the Azure Virtual Desktop. So it starts with the client.wd.microsoft.com, the old one which will automatically get redirected to the new one, which is client.wd.microsoft.com. 
the last one is Intune device configuration for Windows multi session so using Microsoft Intune we can deploy device policies to our Windows multi session VM policies such as defender antivirus or conditional access policy so all these things we can deploy to our session host which is a multi session uh, session host through Microsoft Intune so now it is generally available so we can use it in production so we have covered the mentioned preview features in this video with the demo if you find this video useful please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the notification you can verify the status of RTP short path by going to the client and in the connection information you can see UDP is enabled so similarly if you go to the Azure portal and the monitoring under monitoring go to connection diagnostics and then go to the user details over here so if you click on the users select the user and select the event here on the right side you will see all the events related to the connectivity so if you go below so you can see one event called RDP short path established so uh, it means your user connection is now under UDP and which is established over the public network directly through RDP short path also you can check the status of RDP short path from the log analytics so we need to go to log analytics and then go to logs so under logs run the query WVD check checkpoints where name contains short path so if you run the query it will give you the result of your RDP short path connect connection so if you check the result so where you can see RDP short path established so if you expand this so you will get you the it will give you the details so here you can see RDP short path established and the UDP type is short path public so it means it is now connected over UDP through short path on the public network so if it is a private then uh, uh, for example if it is over your VPN or express route then the it will show you as short path private so this is how we can monitor the IDP short path over public network from the Azure portal as well as from the client side on the remote desktop application